guys, I'm Tasha, and welcome back to my channel. Mm. So midterms are coming up next week. Next Thursday to be exact, it's currently Tuesday. Yeah, we need to prepare because it's my med surge midterm. So not only do I need to prepare for the midterm, but I also need to do my assignments and homework for this week. So it's gonna be a double whammy week. Right now I'm wearing my scrubs. I have my class that starts in about an hour. So the plan is go to class and then head on over to the library. It's gonna be a busy week because yesterday I didn't do anything. I watched like one lecture so i have to like ca catch up that also probably means that this weekend i will do homework slash will be studying because i have a midterm usually i don't like doing homework on the weekend that's like my rule but we're gonna have to do it this weekend because i want an a in that class the bus comes soon ish i need to head over to my campus a little earlier because i need a print we have a printer but we ran out of ink also before i head out i forgot that i haven't tried this so i was running out of my summer fridays lip butter bomb i have the one in warm vanilla i believe and my local sephora never has any in stock this last time that i went to stock up for some stuff that i didn't have any of the stuff that i wanted to stock up for they magically had it but they didn't have the one that i usually buy so we're trying this new one this is just vanilla i wonder if they smell the same oh they smell the same they smell the same so i'm guessing this is just a lighter color that's nice okay i'm gonna put this in my little bag let me head to class and hopefully after class because it is a three-hour class and i'm gonna be playing the nurse this week hopefully i'm prepared one two hopefully it doesn't drain me so i can do the things i need to do after class Woo! It is nine o'clock exactly. It's time to go home because the library is closing and I'm so hungry. So I'm so excited to go home and cook first. 
and then eat. Good morning, it's next day. Today I have class. I need to leave in about an hour. I already changed into my scrubs and stuff because I woke up extra early to film my TikToks and I finished early today. So I'm just gonna relax for the next hour because two hour class and then straight to the library afterwards. I need I need at least one hour of my day to chill. And we're back in the library. Brian, I gotta use my inside. I've been here for like maybe an hour and a half. This whole section had people in it, so I just waited for them to, so I can update you. I am on, I have my little to-do list, let me see, buy things on my to-do list, and I've completed two. I finished a module that I needed to submit, went ahead and submitted it, and then I watched one of my lectures, and I did the reading, feeling super productive, and then right now I'm going to finish an assignment that needs to be submitted by tomorrow. Back to work. Can we dance in the moonlight? Hold hands if the mood's right. Make plans to the sunrise and sleep till noon. I'll take you to the beach. Get our toes wet and leave after sunset. And I would do it all again. Cause I don't want my day to end with always running in circles. Try to make up my mind. Should I ask you? I'm too scared to ask, but I'll probably ask you. This is my Google Calendar. I planned out the entire week. I have put in time slots for the times I need to record, edit, and do my TikToks. I put in the time slots for when I need to be in class. I put in time slots when I need to study, time slots when I need to do my homework, and also time slots for me to have fun. I am sacrificing today's having fun time slot because I originally said that I was going to do a salsa dance class at 7. And it's currently 7.38. I was like, you know what, Natasha? Let's skip the salsa dance class today because it's my friend's birthday coming up and we're probably going to go out this weekend. Let's skip the salsa dance class today, finish this homework so I have less work to do on Friday and less work to do on Saturday. So I have that laid out and then to study, I just rewrite my notes and also my study schedule depends on how much time I have. My exam is a week and a day from today. I study with active recall. I also like to be exposed to the content as much as possible. So the first content swipe was the week that I learned it. During week one, I learned week one content. And then when week two starts, before I go over week two content, we review week one content. So I've already gotten two passes of the content. And then the third pass is when I'm writing my notes. Fourth pass will be tomorrow. I have a study day plan. So we're gonna go through that content again. And then pass five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 is me at home reading my notes out loud saying it out loud, saying it to myself, active recall, just asking myself questions, testing myself, using my notes, and then that way I can get familiar with the content and be exposed to it as much as possible. Oh, done. Now it's time to go home, cook dinner, and go to bed, and eat, and then go to It's a new day! Today we're going to the library, but we're going to study with a couple people. So I don't know if I'm going to bring you along because I'm not going to be like, hey, be in my video, you know? But I did want to say hi for today. It is Thursday. The air quality is getting what's up? What's up? Um, there are fires in Canada. If you guys don't know, I live in Canada. And yesterday was not that bad. Today I woke up, everything's like foggy. I don't know if it's foggy because of the weather or it's foggy because of the air quality. Definitely think it's my air quality or the air quality because I went out in the balcony to get something and I was like, <coughs> why does it smell like a bonfire? So hopefully they get those fires under control soon because my lungs, everyone's lungs. But I saw some videos of the fires and I'm like, hmm. This is a look for today. It is chillier. Today I'm wearing all black hoodie. The little cap, I feel like I've been wearing scrubs for the past week. So it's nice to like dress up, but I still want it to be comfortable. So this is what we got going on. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, pack my bag, catch the bus, and then maybe I'll see you when I come back. Mm -mm -mm. Today drained me. Let me tell you a little bit about my day. So you saw me two seconds ago. And then between that two seconds and now, went to the library, got there around like 
one o'clock and I was there until seven. Today I got out early and I was ahead of schedule with the little schedule that I made that I showed you. Not only did I finish early, but I was ahead. And then I came home, made my meal, famished, and I was like, thing. So I <laughs> that is embarrassing. I engulfed everything, so there was nothing to show but my empty plates. I can't find my pink headband, the one I used to wear all the time. I do have a little mess, let me show you. This is a little mess from this morning. I'm just gonna put my stuff away. My little mess is cleaned up. Tomorrow is Friday. I thought I was gonna go out this weekend, but my original plans of going out this weekend got moved to next weekend. Ow. Ooh, that glue was gluing. Perfect. I have my thoughts are like, da -da 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 -da. but let me start that removing my makeup. Honestly, at this point, I should be a makeup bomb tester. The very first one that I tried was a Juno & Co. Bomb. That one I really liked, and that one came with this. And even though I ran out of the other one, I've been still using this. This is a makeup removing cookie. Basically, you use it together. You bomb up your face and then da -da 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 -da, take it off, right? So I went to that one first. And then I did the True Botanicals Ginger Tumor Cleansing Balm. I, it's empty. I don't know why I kept the container. I think it's because I wanted to review them all because I've had tried that two so far. And then the third one that I tried is this one. Almost to the bottom, almost done. And then when I'm done this one, I'm going to try the Youth of the People Superberry Dream Cleansing Balm. No, I haven't tried this one yet. I don't know why I'm on this balm, finding the best makeup removing balm hiatus. <laughs> three, I've tried three so far from three different companies. But I just want to find the best one. So far, the one that I've liked is the Gino & Co one. This one's good too, but I don't know. I just really like that other one. Just a bit like that. Warm it up, warm it up. Watch your makeup melt in front of your eyes. Is that sometimes when it gets in my eyes, I'm like, no puedo ver, I can't see. So I've been trying to do one eye at a time. One step at a time. Da 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 da. Stars tap, dancing. I don't know if you guys were ever or did ever do competitive dancing. Someone always had a solo to that song. Anyways, like I was saying. Now I'm doing one eye at a time so I can go ahead and clean it and not lose my complete field of vision. I definitely got the bomb in my eyes because my eyes are low-key burning a little. The Advanced Snail Muse and Gel Cleanser by CauseRx. And I'm going to use this quickly and promptly so I can get this product expelled from my eyes. Nice squeaky claims. I follow up with the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. I got this at Ulta and it's running almost empty and that's a problem because I don't know the next time I'm going to go to the States so I can replenish. And I need to go soon because my body wash is running low and they sell that one at Target. This is running low. I got that from Ulta. Nivea Soft Cream. I would brush my teeth right now, but I think I'm gonna eat one more snack. See you. Studying is not in my favor today. Sorry for my Cheeto fingers, I'll hide it if it bothers you. So I go to get my little pre-library snack. The place is closed. Oh, it's supposed to close at 7 p.m. And I go, it's 4.30, closed. Mm, okay. I go to the vending machine, get my little Cheeto, okay. Go to the library, go to my corner where I like to go. It's taped off. <laughs> the corner's taped off. Caution tape. I'm like, okay, can't go there. Let's pick a different table. Just got here. Someone comes in like five minutes later. They're like, we're closing at five. It's 4.44. It says close at 9 p.m. At the door, 9 p.m. Since when is it? It's not. It's I'm going to go home and start my notes for week four because i was ahead of schedule let's stay ahead of schedule i made it home and i almost didn't start writing my notes because my couch looks so comfortable i was like ah oh, and there's shows that i should watch and it's the weekend so i scroll on tiktok for a little bit and i got right into it i have five weeks that i need to know for the midterm and i'm on week four right now and week four has for PowerPoint presentations. So the goal is to at least make it through two today because two is better than nothing. Two PowerPoint of week four. And then week five will be, four and five I'll finish tomorrow. I'm too lazy to get my tripod, but I also am hungry. And I don't know if you guys heard the story time, but basically last week I went on the HelloFresh website and I'm like, okay, let's see what's up. Cause I'm so busy. I don't have time to like plan and prep and all that stuff. So let me look at the menu. Looked at the menu and I was like, hmm, not really vibing with it. Closed the tab 
Then on Monday, I got a HelloFresh box delivered to my front door and I said, that's interesting because I didn't put an order in. So I thought it was my roommate's. I looked down, my name's on it. <laughs> Turns out that when you make an account, you also sign up for the subscription. I don't even remember putting my credit card information in. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I don't remember. I was just trying to click through all the buttons as fast as possible so I can get to the recipe portion to see if I liked the recipes. Anyways, didn't pick any of the recipes, got delivered to my house and I got five meals. I finished off of my notes, a little bit more progress than no progress and We'll keep our laptop out because I'm watching Love is Blind Brazil. Brazil. Today we're making Parmesan crusted pork chops. Oven. More like air fryer. The only problem I have with this is portion size. I have the two person, one potato per. One potato per person. Are you, are you kidding me? Peel, potato, peel, peel, potato. I was gonna put my show to play, but I need to concentrate when I'm watching that show because one, I don't want to miss what's going on, and two, I listen to it in Portuguese, and my Portuguese isn't the best. I need the closed caption, like I'll catch 50% of what they're saying. So I'd be ultra focused when I'm watching that. When I was like 12 maybe, my brother and I would cook and that was our cooking jingle. Like when we were recorded and cooking and that was our, what is it called, our our theme song. Let's get cooking, let's get cooking today. Let me just skip through, speed through this part and then just show you the end product. Cause this ain't sponsored so we can't give it too much of a screen time, you know? They just released new episodes of the Ultimatum Queer Love. That's what we're watching. Now it doesn't feel like the same person I gave an ultimatum to. Symbolizes something, then the relationship that we had back home. Who are choosing to get engaged on the show? Hmm. Got the potatoes. We'll call it slightly crispy. And then I got my veg. And then I go my caramba juice. Like I think that she knows that I love her, but I do. I want to hear what she's got. It's the next next day. It's Sunday. I didn't do any studying or work yesterday, but I did do it on Friday. So mm -hmm. today we're gonna make up for the work I didn't do yesterday. I have some assignments to do that are due, or an assignment to do that's due tomorrow, and then we get right into studying because I didn't look at any content yesterday. I just rotted in my bed. I literally did. I was on Netflix and like on and off my Netflix and on my phone. And on Netflix, I watched the show, the new show called Fake Profile. Let me know if you watched it and let me know what you think because I'm not going to spoil it, but I thought they took too long to develop the story and not that long to solve it. Like it was like the story was building up. It's a 10 episode thing. I watched the entire thing yesterday. Like I was rotting in my bed. Well deserved because the whole week was crazy. But for nine and a half episodes, what it felt like, they were developing the story and then in the last 30 minutes everything like made sense like there wasn't any clues within the first few episodes of like why things were happening you were just like what i don't know i still watched the entire thing because i was like i kept watching thinking that they were gonna tell me more clues because you know sometimes the viewers get clues before the characters and you're like oh no don't do that because you know something they don't know but it wasn't like that at all at all you, you knew as much as they knew. And I was like, what's going on? I'm gonna do this assignment. I just finished my week four notes that I started on Friday and I still have week five to do because now that they're typed up, this is week one notes, there's 12 pages. 
There's also photos in there, so that makes it a little bit bigger. But now for the fourth round of review, I even concise it even more. So I look at my notes and I read them out loud and I go and highlight. I start with week one. We're talking about the anatomy of the lungs and how the parietal pleura, the visceral pleura. I'll have my highlighter part open. I'll be like, okay, parietal pleura is the one that contains the nerve ending receptors. So that one you can feel pain in the parietal pleura, but the visceral pleura is the one that doesn't contain the nerve pain, nerve ending receptors, so that when you don't feel pain. So I'll just go ahead and highlight, but I just like saying this out loud as I'm reading it and as I'm highlighting it so it can get in my brain. And then also when I study, I like to play lo-fi music. I just look up lo-fi on Spotify and whatever spot pops up first is what I play just so I can feel like I'm kind of doing something fun. I also pretend that I'm a teacher and I'm like, did you get it? Did you understand? Let me explain to you one more time. Or like, can you say it back to me? And I'm, I'm the teacher and also the student and then I'll say it back to myself, you know, things to make it fun so the time doesn't feel like I'm sitting here for 10,000 hours time flies by when you're having fun all that stuff but yeah i play the lo-fi i won't play right now because i don't want to get copyrighted but that's what i do and then i can be pretend to be like okay this is pleurisy do you know what pleurisy is yeah i think i know what pleurisy is pleurisy is the inflammation of the pleural spaces in the lungs oh and what pleural spaces can be inflamed well there's the visceral pleural space oh good job i was like oh thank you so much you know like do that make it fun Put some beats and remember the things. I think it's personally um, under discussed. Also, another thing that I like to do if I'm going through my notes and there's something that I don't understand, for example, the pneumothorax open versus close versus tension, I like to Google videos that are like two, three minutes long that will quickly refresh my memory of what that is because one, I'm too lazy to go to my teacher's lecture and find that exact spot, or two, sometimes I like to learn from a different perspective from like a different instructor because maybe the way they explain something is a little bit more clear to my brain which is what i just did and now i know the difference between open and tension pneumothorax and now i'm just going to go back and see if someone can explain to me closed pneumothorax because i think i understand what it is but i also want to make sure that i understand what it is Oral pressure to become less negative so what in the world is this well, this is a protein fragment that actually will start to hang out in the blood when there's a clot in the blood. It leads to an enlargement of the right side of the heart, which then leads to it atrophy and right-sided heart failure. Okay, I just finished my review of week one and week two. I have planned to read it out loud, both week one and week two. So one read out loud, like walk through explanation, and then one just reading through my notes before going to bed, both for week one and week two. But it is four o'clock and I'm doing things. I'm gonna do those reads later to give my brain a little bit of a break. But I'm gonna end the video here because I'm gonna go cook, maybe watch a show and then spread out those reads within the rest of the night thank you guys for joining me in my little chaotic kind of there kind of not there study week leading up to this midterm the prep is done right now we're really getting into like making sure the content is in my brain so i'm gonna do that for the next couple days but i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below let me know what you want to see and i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>